welcome back so we duplicated this extra screen so i will be creating the home screen here and all the four pages that are needed so i'll drag this to the bottom here so what i'll do is i'll make sure i delete everything that is here i'll delete everything here so right now what we need on the home screen the first thing i need is an icon so i'll be picking an icon from iconify so i'll be picking a hamburger 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 so i'll quickly pick one of this so i'll be picking either this or this so i'll just go with this other one here i'll drop it here so i have a hamburger so the next thing i want to add here is um i want to pick uh an ellipse so i'll pick an ellipse here i'll hold shift and then drag this so this will be for my profile picture so i would want to make it 60 by 60 60 by 60 so here right now what we want to do is i want to get the measurement at the top here so i need a uh, this let's see let's see how many pixel for the width i want 40 pixel 40 sorry 40 pixel so that would be my measurement here 40 so 40 this is a line so please i'll have to remove this from the frame since they are in a group already so that i can easily take the measurement here so i'll make sure that the hamburger is at the center of this image so i will vertical align so i can click on this and push this group to the end till it touches here so right now we want to place uh, an image here so we can use on splash to pick an image so i will pick an image of a guy or a lady whichever you want so i would just search for a man here man and then we can pick any of this picture here so i will select this one that will be my profile picture but i think it's uh, somehow too bright let's use this and see okay this looks great so if i have this the next thing i want to do here is let me check this if i'm okay with this the height and then the width so we can always adjust this height and width here so i think 24 is great so let's add a text here that says good morning good morning so i have a good morning then the name of the user so i will make this 15 and then i would make this light good morning good morning so the name of the user so i'm going to put the username here i'm using kamal so i'll convert this to medium so we have good morning kamal so we just want to add a depending either afternoon or morning we just want to add an icon here so i can search for an icon so i will just look for bright 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 here so i can use this icon this icon here so i'll be picking this icon here good morning i'll just drop this here so i can lock this so i will use alt and shift to resize this good morning i think that should stand somewhere here so i still also want to adjust this with alt and shift so if you notice that uh because of what i'm picking if i look at this we should have some border radius let me check for this okay let's open this and check okay this has a border radius and then this also has a border radius so i'm selecting the two and i'm reducing the border radius to one so we have this which looks better good morning come out so i think that is okay so what i want to add here is a frame and then the height should be 150 i'm making the height 150 150 for the height so i'll center this to the screen 
and I need to adjust this to make sure that it's touching everywhere correctly okay this is a line this also is a line I'll give you the border radius of 10 so we'll be using our primary color here which is this so on this I am going to put an account balance account balance balance here so account balance the user should have an account balance so I will be setting that so I will be using or because of this tutorial you can use your currency so I'll be setting this to this user have six thousand three hundred and four dollars in your account so here they have this amount and then we can add a button here to tell them to add funds to this here account so I'll change the color to white and then the border radius also here I'm changing that to five so this will be add funds add funds add funds so I'll bring that here make sure that I change this color to this so I will align these two together and then I'll group this add funds so here we're going to look for an icon I think we can quickly resize this because I think uh, we have in enough space here I'll resize this a little so let me align this with this background so I'm selecting the rectangle and the button and I'll use the vertical alignments for the add fonts so here since the account the balance is visible I will search for an icon on iconify so here I since it's visible so we want to hide the eye so i'll just pick this and drop that here so if it's visible then i'll tell the user please hide the balance so i will just remove that from the frame and delete the frame so that i can easily resize this so i'll use shift and then resize that so this will be more like hide account balance so I can play with the opacity here to 50 and then I think I would like to change the color back to white so I'll change the opacity to 50 here so it tells the user to hide the account balance so this place looks plain at the moment I still want to reduce this I think I, I would want to reduce this let me lock this and reduce this to maybe 20 let's see if that looks great okay doesn't look bad so I'm going to just play with the color i'll pick one of this because i don't want it too dark so i think um this section we just need to introduce one item here so i'll duplicate this icon we're having here ctrl d once i duplicate i'll use the ctrl x to cut then i'm bringing the design here to this screen please let me undo that select this frame and then paste it here so i will resize this till it fits and so I'll bring that here like part of should be part of this design I'll also resize this add fonts so I'll take it to back of this button here so it's like I'm taking it back of the rectangle okay it's behind this button so I can rotate this to hide the missing piece so I'll just drop it somewhere here so add fonts so i think i have something like this so the next thing i'm adding is another text again this will be quick actions quick actions quick actions which will allow the user to perform some quick actions like transfer buying of airtime so on the quick action i would create another rectangle here so i will create another rectangle so this is the measurement i'll set the height to 120 120 the border radius we're using the same fan so and then this time the background is white so i'm changing the background to white so we're going to be adding some icons here so we'll be using some icons but before we do that let's add the text so here on the first item we have air sign so user can purchase air sign with our app so I can just duplicate this and then drag this here 
then double click and then say the next one is data they can also buy data duplicate and then drag this here so set user can also buy or they can fund their account here add funds so i'll duplicate this also and set user can create a savings you can start a savings duplicate that drag that edit it the user can pay bills user can pay bills duplicate it and then we say users can transfer transfer money so i'll just try to arrange this so with that i think we have to increase this to maybe 130 130 so that we can fix our icons properly and i'll reduce the size of this text all the text i'm selecting each of this so I'll resize that to 12 okay so we have these are items here so what I want to do is I want to look for all the icons that will be needed here so I'll open Iconify and make sure I dropped everything that I need here so for add the airtime I'll be searching for phone phone and then I have a specific phone in mind that I want to use so once I see that, I'll just pick it. Okay, still can't find what I'm looking for. So let's see. Can't find that. So I would pick just randomly since I can't find what I'm looking for. So I can just pick um, any of the smartphone. I'll just drop the smartphone here so the next one i need is data so i think i can just search for data data let's see or oh, please we can just look for bar chart bar charts so you should get okay you should get this styles of bar chart so i'll just drag this here and drop this one here for the data then the next one i need is the add to font so i'll just look for add which is same thing with a plus i'll just drag and drop this here so the next one i need is savings saving so we should look for a piggy and then add a piggy there so i'll just add this piggy I'll add the piggy just drag it and drop it in my project just drag and drop it here i've added a piggy so the next one is bills so i'll just look for bill so i'll look over you can pick any of this so i'll just drag this and drop this for bill then the last one is transaction so transfer i can look for exchange here exchange as for transfer i'll look for exchange so i'll just pick any of this here i'll just drag this and drop this here for the transfer so now I need to align all these icons that we're having here. So I'll just randomly do this. Um, airtime for bills. I think it goes to bill for data right now. I'm having the data here. So data goes to data. Then we have add. I'll just pick that randomly. Let me just pull this outside the group. And then I have the add. We have the vector. So I'll pull this also outside. So I would pull this also outside here. Because I'm making sure I'm removing them from their frames. So for the bar chart, please, I think I'm just leaving that. Because we're having more than one item there. So I can start deleting each of these frames. So for the mobile phone, I think I'm also pulling that out. So I'll delete the frame here. So let's quickly arrange this. So data savings, I can manually adjust this. Let me log this. I want the height of 20. Okay. And then I think we can reduce the stroke to so, yeah. so the transfer. Add to fonts. I'll just bring this add to fonts here. And I think one item is missing, which is the piggy. I don't seem to find it here. And then it's not outside. So I would have to look for our piggy again and try to add the savings. So before we do that, let's just arrange this. So for this two, I'll just select this two, select the two and then make sure they are aligned. 
center okay this is aligned so i'll group them once they are aligned i'll do the same thing for data just select the two make sure they are aligned and then i can just group them country g so but i think before we do that let's just make sure that the icons are aligned on the same space okay here and then the height should all be 20 the height should all be 20 let me see the inner height of this this is 20 this should also be 20 so i will just check the height of this vector here so i'll make sure i'm changing that to 20 20 here so please uh, so that it matches whatever i'm having so i'll select this two and group them then i'll pull it outside the frame here so i can just easily move this around that's the chart that is inside so i have that here so i think i i've moved that too much okay that's okay so i'll make sure that this item is aligned so i think it's in the group already i'll just drag it out so this is already in the group so i'll just make sure that it's aligned with this okay that's perfect so the add i'll make sure also this is like 20 so i'll lock this and then change the height to 20 the height is what we're interested in here so here also we make sure that we're changing this to 20 we make sure this is also changed to 20 i'll lock this 20 so okay you see the height is telling me that they are all aligned now so this is 20 so the text i'll also make sure that the text are aligned before i do the grouping okay this text is aligned with this and then the ads font i'll make sure that it's aligned with this three okay it's also aligned with this three so i can use this two icon here select this and this then align this to center so ctrl g to group select this to align to center ctrl g to group i'll do the same thing for f time i think these two are already on the same line so the pay bills since this is 20 this is also 20 let me make sure that the two are aligned before i do anything okay they are aligned so i could just select this two align them to center then ctrl g to group then two i'll select them align them to center ctrl g then i'm going to look for piggy and iconify so i'll just look for saving saving just drag the piggy and drop it here this time we'll make sure that it's visible okay i can see where the piggy is here so we have a piggy here okay piggy appears to be very very big here so i will have to reduce that to 20 20 so my piggy is here so i'll drag it and bring it to the screen so it was probably added first time but you didn't get to see it so i'll delete this so piggy has to be of size 20 okay it is so i'll make sure that it's aligned with this okay so i'll select the savings and then i'll align that to center to so ctrl g to group savings and then piggy together so now we have these items what i want to do is i want to align this three so i'll just space them select this one two three then I can space them evenly. So this can just follow the full step here. Make sure that this two is aligned. This two, they are aligned here. Please, I can do that manually. I'm just trying to do that manually. Ctrl Z. I need to pick the whole group. Make sure that it's aligned to the second one here. Okay. That looks aligned to me. Good. So I'll do this for this. Okay. This two is aligned. So we have this here so but uh it's like the spacing in between them it's too big so i'll select this two okay one one two so i'll push it here then one two then i'll push it a little here so we don't want the spacing to be too big or too small one and then we have one so let's say we are having this section here and then we have to reduce the opacity of this all this items here i think their selection is black so i'll just reduce the opacity to 50 
and then the stroke are also reduced the stroke to 50 if they are having any stroke for those having stroke that's 50 50 and then everything is 50 then for this particular icon here I think um, the fill let me see if I can do away with the fill okay that's good so I've done it I've removed the fill then the next section we want to add here is the referral page so the referral so I'm just going to name this section refer a friend so effects um, I can just quickly do this duplicate this so that I'll have the same settings which I'll edit this to refer a friend refer a friend here so this F should be lowercase refer a friend so this is still going to be our primary color and I'm going to change the border radius here to 10 so having this stand here what I want to do here is I want to just add some text here so set in 3% of your friends of the first so here we set 10 deposit deposits of your referral your referral yeah so uh, I think uh, we have this here I can put this here I think it's sitting perfectly well so I'm going to look for an icon here but this sign the icon I'm getting is from story sets by free pike so we wait for that to load so here I'm just going to look for refer to search for refer and then I think I can pick this one here so before I pick that I will look for a uh, primary color so let me look for my primary color this is my primary color I can just control copy and then I need to use that here I actually mistakenly changed this but I need to use the primary color okay I don't even need that here so I can click on this to put it here so please um I will have to change my text color because we have a text here so refer a friend let me close this I think I added a text so now I can't find the text here so I have to quickly look for the text let me drag this back a little and see if I can find the text I would undo that please I need to get the text back okay I have my text here see I will just do that it's like please sorry we need free pike story sets by free pike here so refer so I'm going to pick and just drop this here so if I close this here I will just try to open this here so I would try to delete some of the items here that we don't need because there are items that we don't need here so I will just quickly do that I can delete this so I can delete this and then I can delete the head the thumb I can open that so to delete the thumb now it won't be easy so but I will just hide this frame and then hide the second frame in case you're using that same icon so that we can just quickly pick the thumb so I can quickly pick the thumb once I've, I'm hiding those components delete and then let me see if I can delete this background I was not supposed to pick those backgrounds delete and then i think i've deleted all the major backgrounds so i'm left with the shadow i need to pull that out so i'm leaving this for my refer a friend i like the way it's sitting it gives it that 3d view here so we can add another text again so before we do that i think i can duplicate this ctrl d and then we rename this to recent transactions recent transaction recent transactions so if this is our recent transactions then I will just create a rectangle so if I have this rectangle here or size it I'll make that 60 so that it will fit in perfectly so I'm going to change that let's see let's make that 50 if this is 50 so I can change the color to white 
that color is white this is what I want us to do let's pick another rectangle here so I'll just show you a simple trick here so we're picking a rectangle so here let's change for the big white let's add a border radius of 10 for each of this so if you notice that the rectangle we added at the top will now affect the border radius of the other so what I want us to do here is I want us to give this uh okay let's give it a width of also 50 here since the height is 50 so i want to change the border radius but look at i want to change for this first one and then this last one so i have to open this section the first one should be 10 and then the last one should also be 10 so now it's balanced so i can use the eyedropper pick whatever i want here so i can okay i have this so i would just add some text here and then i'll say purchase of fang geek data was successful successful so if i have this i can just bring that here i want my text alignment to be left by default and then i want to reduce the size to 12 oh okay 12 is too much so 10 okay that is great this purchase was successful and then here since we have an icon for airtime i'll duplicate this icon Control x to cut it and then i think i would love to group this items Control g group them then i can paste that in the group i'll paste it in the group so i can bring this here then i'll change the color to white so that it will be visible white so if i have this then I can put the amount that was used. So I'll just say minus. Okay, so let me see. Four dollar. Dollar four. Minus, let's say, ten dollar. So minus ten dollar. That's for this transaction here. So I'm going to change the color to, since it's a debit, so just a red. Okay. Four thousand, the last transaction cost ten dollars so this ten has to be in the group let me see okay it's in the group so i'm going to duplicate this like two times okay duplicate this here and then duplicate that again so this would be let's say i'll copy this piggy here onto copy select this group and paste it here so i'll be deleting the data icon here because it's in a group I'll just delete this and then I'll drag this to this position and change the color to white and uh, I'll set here I'll just give the user you just you just started a new saving plan so you just started a new saving plan so we can change this so this user started with let's say uh, five hundred dollar started with a five hundred dollar so that's like a plus so i'll change this to a plus so this will now be i'll just look for a green that i can use just let me pick any random green here something bright okay something bright like this so here the same thing you can copy any of this bill here so I'll copy this transfer and then I'm going to paste that here double click so I think I can just paste that in the group then try to bring it to front as long as it's in the group so I'll delete this icon here and then bring this icon here so I'm going to change the color back to white so I can say transfer transfer of dollar let's see dollar 20 to jennifer jonah to jones jennifer jones was successful successful so transfer of 20 dollar so we have minus 20 here so i'm going to close this so what I'll try to do here, I'll try to create a navigational bar. 
so I'll try to create a navigational bar here so don't mind that it's closing this so before we can do that okay navigational bar just to give the user the feeling that okay they can also scroll so I'm having a navigational bar here so I think I can make this a size of 50 so 50 should do or we can stick to 60 so anyone you want okay 60 should be great so I'll change that to white so I'm going to create um, some text here this will be the first one will be my home then the second one I'll duplicate it that will be my that will be history history and control D to duplicate I'll have the third icon here which will be my wallet wallet and I will also duplicate that to I'll have an account here account so I'll look for all this icon in Iconify I'll be using Iconify to place this icon so the first one I'm looking for is a home home I'll do this home so I'm just looking for a solid home so I would drag this and drop it here home okay don't mind that I can always take that to the top here so I have home so the next one I'm looking for is history so I will just search for history history search so I'll look for history I think I'm okay with this the back history it has a clock on it so I'll just drag it here then the next one is wallet I'll search for wallets so I will drag the wallets look for any nice wallets drag and drop it there so I just need something nice so let me check the next page if I have options so please I don't have any option I'm going back to the first page so I'm picking this wallet I'll pick and drop it here so I have my wallet then the last one I'll just look for user that's for the account I'll search for user so user I can drag and drop this here so I can close this and then align this user I'll make sure I'm removing it okay I can bring that to front for user please bring that to front I'll bring it here so I'll remove the user from the frame then I'll delete this the same thing with the history I'll delete this the same thing with the home I'll drag it here and I'll delete it also then I have the wallet I don't know which okay I have to remove it and bring it to top here then drag the wallet out then delete the frame so what we want to do now is we want to give them the same height so all of this should take the same height so I'll give this a height of 20 okay I think I'm missing wallet so let me drag the wallet and bring the wallet here so I'll select all the items here using the shift key and then make sure I'm giving them a height of 20 20 okay please I would undo that that should be a, in case log this this is 20 so I'll select this and then I'll lock this this is 20 so I'll lock this if I lock that then lock this and then make this 20 okay if I lock that before changing the first step would have been the same 20 so here we can outline these items now since they are of the same height so 20 20 so let's see okay this is well aligned so I can now align the text before I start grouping so text so just try to align the account here because that's the only thing that is not aligned so at this point they are all aligned so I'll select the home please I would just want to add the width for the home so let me make the width maybe 23 and see or 24 25 25 okay that looks too big so let's do 23 so I'll select these two and then I'll align them to center I'll make sure I change the color to this because that's our active page and I'll group it the same thing with history I will align that and then group it I'll do the same for wallet align it then group it for account 
our align then group this items here together so this three item we want to reduce the opacity to 50 to as low as 50 since they are not currently active then i'll select this item and then i'll space them using horizontal spacing to make sure that the space in between them is the same then i'll group this and then i'll select the white background here i'll align them to center and then align them to the center of the white background here at the bottom so if you look at this we have our home page i can do away with this and then i have my home page here so come all this we can do some little touches to this so let me adjust this and align it to come out here so that is well aligned and our home page is looking sharp so here after having this we're going to make an adjustment here so I'll quickly try to adjust the border for this but in case the hamburger you picked is not um, having a stroke uh, you don't have to bother doing that then I'm going to resize this to 18 so that we'll have a smaller hamburger so I'm going to duplicate this our screen I'll duplicate this our screen because I want to create a transaction page so I will be deleting some of the items here because most of the components will be reused so I'll delete these items I'll select this also and I will delete these items here so I'll just basically I'll over over this items and now delete them over over this and I also delete them then I will select this delete I like over these items delete them and I also delete this so let me just quickly push this a little bit further so this three items here so I'm creating the history page so I'll select these three items and try to push them to the top so this will be my recent page so having this here so I will add the recent transaction so this I'm going to push it to the top so the text here I'm pushing that to the top recent transaction so I'll make sure it's at the center of the screen so I'll also push this one here recent transactions so I can move this here so basically that's what we are going to have on this other page so here I'm supposed to change this to the active page but I'm not going to do that once we get to the prototype section I'll tell you why so I'm going to still duplicate the home page again so I think I can rename this to history history so we can also rename this to home just makes our work better home so I'm going to duplicate the home again Control D I'll duplicate the home so here I'm going to convert this this will be our wallet page so I'll delete this item I'll delete this items here and I'll also delete the image here so I'll be pushing the whole of this item so let me highlight them and group it highlight this and then please it's like I'm having a big icon that is affecting my design so let me hover over this and see if I can delete it okay I just did that so let me select these items here and then group them so I can push this to the top somewhere here so on this section now here we're going to make some little modification I'm going to increase the height of this our item so I'm going to increase the height to 170 so make sure you're selecting the rectangle so I have a height of 170 so the balance I'm going to increase the size here to 20 so we have a balance of 20 so we're going to add some icons here so I'll be introducing the iconify so I will look for the type of card I'm using so I'll search for a visa visa card so I'll just drag that pick one of this so I will be going with this I'll just okay I'll put that here since that's the available screen please from here I think I can drag it to this screen here and then let me see okay that's all we can close that 
and we can remove the visa from the frame and then delete the frame so here i'm going to increase the size lock this and i'll increase this to 15. so i have visa i think still looks too small 25. okay too big so i think we stuck with 20. so i'm going to change the color to white that's for my visa so i have a visa card here i think the 25 looks still too big because okay so i can now drag the button try to adjust it here to the center then i'll do the same thing with this icon here so we have a visa card so what we want to do here is we want to add the number card number so let's see i'm using five four something just random number i'm using random numbers for the card number so let's say we have this here i'm going to push this button a little bit further since we're adding a card number so our balance still remains here so we're going to add the name of the user so i'm just going to add kamal abdul abdul to be our user so i'll drag this here so i'm going to resize this to let's say 15. i have kamal abdul here so i'm going to work on this card i'll increase the size to 15. then we're going to change this to regular so the visa i'm dropping it here want it aligned with kamal abdul so i think we are done with this other section so i can just adjust this uh, item and then okay that is good so it should be at the edge here i want that at the edge okay you can just place that wherever you feel is comfortable for you so this section i'm think i'm doing to delete whatever is inside so i'll delete these items here i'll delete them so i want to still use this section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a, an ellipse here so let me lock this and resize it to let's see 70 by 70 okay that looks too small let's go 90 and see okay i'm okay with the 90 so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click so make sure you zoom in so try you were going to see an arc so i'm going to drag this to create this shape so then i'm going to click inside and do something like this here so after having this i can just change the color here and say okay i'm having a green here so i can now duplicate this okay i can even try to adjust this here you see i can increase this in case the space you have it's not big enough so i can duplicate this item once i duplicate this ellipse let me make sure i'm having a duplicate okay let's drag this okay there's no duplicate so ctrl d to duplicate this ellipse so once you duplicate this sorry let me redo that step again duplicate okay so now i can just rotate this item here so once i rotate this i can reduce this here what i'm trying to do here is if i try to rotate this now you're going to see half item like a piece so let's change this to red which is supposed to be our debit or something so i can just go ahead to increase this if i increase that i can then you know rotate this item to just make sure we just fix the puzzle so i'll bring this green to front since it's bigger i'll bring it to front so let's see so we have our item here so i'm going to say okay our all-time transaction uh, add a text tool here all time transaction transaction so i'm quickly going to resize this let's say eight still looks too big okay our all-time transaction we have that here so i will reduce the opacity here to let's say 60 and then we give the user 110 dollars 
that's the all time transaction I'm also reducing this to 60 here yeah. all time transaction so I'm just going to put two in arrow here to show the credit and then the debit so I will look for this iconify so I'll just look for arrows so we're going to search for arrow so on this arrow I'm going to use uh, two arrows so I'll just use this as for in and then for going out here so we quickly change the colors so for the in let me pull them out of the vectors so I'll remove them from the vectors make sure you're clicking just the vector and then I can delete the frames here one and then two so for this should be our we change the color then this will be our debit so for the credit so I'm just going to add some text here credit so for the credit now I'm going to set that to 100 and 10 so that's the total amount that has been credited on this app so the next thing we want to do here is i'm going to increase this so let's say 15 that's too big 12 yeah so let's adjust this to 12 so if i have 12 here so i can actually change the color to this reddit then i'm going to create another text here debit so I will use 48,000 then 975 so I can come in here and then change that to debit so please I can quickly just group this too but if before I do that let me just align them vertically ctrl G do the same thing for this too align them particularly then group them so i have my financial analysis here so i'm just going to add a text here financial analysis financial analysis financial analysis so we change the opacity here to 60 okay we have our financial analysis board so i can just make sure that it's at the center of my screen so i can go ahead and delete this this and then this i think i have some text here then i'll bring this my recent transactions okay you can pick this here you can still bring them here then let me just add the text here recent transaction so let me increase this to 15 that's like the recent transactions so we have this recent transaction here so this will be our wallet page so I can come in here and add the wallet wallet and then just align that here this is my wallet page and make sure it's at the center so I will rename this by double clicking to wallet here so the next page I want to create now is the account page. So I'm going to look at this. Okay, and I will try to duplicate this. Here, Control D to duplicate this. So I think basically there's no components that I would want to reuse here. So I will just highlight everything. Sorry. So I'll highlight everything here. And then just try to do away with them. So basically I'm left with the navigation bar. So I'll drag this here. Then I will do this. Let me just align them. So this would be our account page. Account. So on the account page, I'm just going to add a rectangle. So this rectangle is where I'm going to put in the profile picture. So I will do this. So we are just going to change this to our original color, the primary color. So I'm going to add an ellipse here. So this ellipse, I think I'm okay with this size. I will add a stroke around it and I'll make the stroke, let's see, three. 
so i'll change the color of the stroke to white then i'm going to look for the same image we used here and i'll place it here so i would go to unsplash so from unsplash we can actually load up that image so before we have the unsplash let me just try to create some rectangle here okay so let me just drop the rectangle here so let me search for man and then we're going to pick the same man we had so i'll just select this make sure you're selecting the ellipse then pick this picture so but if you picked a different image you make sure you're using the same image here so here let's just add a name to this kamal abdul yeah so we make this 15 i have kamal abdul I try to center that push it here so that's the owner of this account so i have an ellipse uh, a rectangle here that i want to add so i'll just try to adjust this here so now here we are going to convert this to white just going to use a white background for this and then i want to add some text here so i'll add a profile profile then i'm going to reduce the size of my profile so here before we do that let's give this a border radius of 10 10 so the profile here i will change this just to be 12 px 12 then after that i'm going to change this let's adjust this please i think i need space for my icon so profile so i'm going to change give this some little adjustments here i'll make the opacity 80 then i will tell the user okay here they can edit profile info so here this would be let's say eight smaller and then i'm going to reduce the opacity to let's say 60. so edit profile just like giving them the description of what they can do here so right now i'm going to need um like five of this so i'm going to add all the icons that we'll be needing so here i will open iconify because i have an idea of what we'll be using so i'll search for user user so i'll pick this item here and drop it yeah so i will also search for bank bank so i will look for any decent bank here and drop it so i'll pick this and i'll drop it here then i'll look for check check so i'll pick this and drop it here then i'll look for history i think we have that well i just need to duplicate the original one so i don't think i'm picking the history so i'll just search for group group so let's go to the next page okay i think i'm picking this for group so i'll drop that here so at this point i have my icon here so let me remove that from the vector remove the vector from the frame so that i can actually get the measurement and i'll change the color of this to our color here so i can align this here so that is aligned to center and then i can align my text so i want to know the size of this so we can make this 20 px okay let me see lock this and then make this 20 px uh, much better and then it's a little bit bigger so i can push these two items here so i think i forgot an arrow here so we're going to still pick iconify and then pick an arrow here i'll just say arrow so i'm picking one of this greater than okay i'll just drag this here and drop it here just make sure you're removing this from the frame i'll drag it outside then i'll delete the frame then here i'm going to resize this item to let's say 10 and see okay 10 is okay so we drag this to somewhere here okay i have 10 so i'm going to reduce the opacity to 60 
so after having this i'm sure of this i can group this to ctrl g to group them so i can align them to center i think i will select everything here and i'll try to align them to center so i think everything is perfectly aligned to center so i can group these items so i have my first group so the next group i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this and then drag this here so this would be my second item all i need to do is to delete this so i'm going to click on this bank um icon ctrl x to cut make sure you select this group and paste it inside the group so you notice it's going to appear inside the group so i can now remove the vector from the frame and then i'll adjust this here so I'll make sure that this is also 20 that's the height i'm supposed to focus on the width let me look at this the width is 20 so here i'll focus on the width after locking it i'll just make sure that the width is 20 please make sure you're locking this before you change the width so we're also going to change the color here so i'll change this to bank statement bank statement statement so here i'll just tell the user okay view all transaction history view all transaction transaction history history so i'm going to do the same thing again i'll duplicate this ctrl d and then drag it down here so please i'll undo that it's like i duplicated just the rectangle i want to duplicate the whole group ctrl d and then i'll drag it here so i would select this and then delete it so i'll pick this ctrl x to cut make sure you're selecting the group then paste it inside the group so i will make sure i'm removing this vector from the frame and then i'll delete this so we make sure that the width is 20 so this is correct so i will adjust that and then i'll try to center it with these icons so here this would be account verification account verification so here i will just tell the user to verify your identity verify your identity so then the next one would be my referrals here so let me duplicate this again drag this down here so i will select this icon as usual delete it then select this item ctrl x to cut then ctrl v to paste it in the group let's make sure we're removing the vector from the frame delete it then i can check the size of my vector so here i'll make sure that the width is 20 so i'll lock this and make sure this is 20 okay since the width is 20 i can pick this color using the eyedropper so i'll make sure okay this is aligned now so i have one more page here that i need to duplicate this and then we drag this here so doing this i can just come here and duplicate the history page ctrl d okay i can duplicate this so i think will this stand I, let me just delete and then drag that here so i can ctrl x to cut so i can paste it here on the group and then try to delete this here so here so that will be my limit let's say transfer limits so set your transaction transaction limit so here we have these items here so we just need to select all of this item and try to space them evenly then i can push them here so doing this we have the account page so you can decide to just add some little bits of um this are uh, item here we create ctrl c to copy i want to paste that here on this frame ctrl v so i can drag this to increase the size so i can increase the size of this by dragging out and that's too big 
please i'll undo that and then let's redo it again this time carefully so i will just rotate this item here so i will rotate this and then i'll still try to increase this here then i can push that so that the user don't get to see okay so we have our oreo here we have the logo here so i think our page is complete so now we want to perform other create other pages so what i'm about to do here is we're going to duplicate one of these pages but here we're done with the main pages we have the home history wallet and account so i'm going to create the inner pages airtime data add font so let's just fix these items here the opacity i think is too low so let's just add this so the fill opacity let's say we're making this to 80 so this um, looks better so i'm going to select this history and then i think i'll try to remove the fill here and then i'll change this to 80 okay that makes them look better and then they stand out